Hi everybody, I'm AZ Badfish and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. It's a bit of an informational one and these are probably going to be really short videos. So just a quick introduction. Um, I know a lot of people are, are interested in, in playing modded, but they're a little bit intimidated because there's a lot of stuff to it and they don't know how to get started. If you are like that, this, this, uh, this series might be for you. What I plan on doing is going through the very basic most foundational kind of things about modded and just kind of giving you a real quick overview of how to and how stuff works especially now that we're in 1.12 and a lot of mods are being updated and a lot of the videos for these things are very old and outdated uh, so without any further ado let's get started with what I consider to be probably one of the most important mods you're ever going to encounter and that is called just enough items. <laughs> I almost said resources. Just enough items, or JEI. Uh, if you've ever played in a mod pack, ignore this for now. If you've ever played in a mod pack, uh, if you've ever seen anybody play mod, I'm sure you've seen it. You've probably heard it. You might not have known what it was. JEI. So when you first come into the game, you hit your E key to look in your inventory, and bam, you're hit in the face with this huge block of just massive list of items 286 items in this particular mod pack which is ftb revelation uh but that's not really important jei is so foundational it's pretty much in every single mod pack i don't know of any major like hugely popular mod pack that does not have it it's so handy it's so useful and it's an extremely powerful tool once you know how to use it so let's just start talking about it jei it does, it is. It's just a big list of items, but it's so much more than that. It gives you recipes, it gives you uses, and things like that. So we'll go and talk about some of the some of the stuff you can do with it. So you, you'll be seeing this, and you're like, wow, this is not very useful information. Okay, well, what can I do with JEI? Let's say you know of a specific item, and uh, since, since this is going to be geared towards people who maybe don't know much about modded, I'll try to stick to... Uh, vanilla items for now. So let's say you didn't know how to make an enchanting table. That's a good one, right? Uh, you're down here. When you click in here, this is your search screen. And now there's this JEI config button. We don't need to really mess with that. The default JEI settings are most likely going to be just fine for you. So you don't really need to mess with that, but you come down here. Let's say you want to learn how to make an enchanting table. You can just start typing in enchanting, or I guess it's not, it's called an enchantment table, right? Yeah, you do gotta be, you gotta, you gotta get it right. <laughs> but okay, so there's your enchanting table. Well, if I left click on this, watch what happens. My main window shifts. Now this is showing me uh, the recipe. This is showing me the recipe for this thing. So that's great. Now, what if I don't know how to make a book? Well, the cool thing about JEI is I can click on this book inside this window, if I left click it, and now it shows me how to make a book. So that is super handy. But it not only shows you how to make a book, it shows you all of the different ways to make a book. And now this part up here, these tabs on the top of your recipe screen are really important as well. Uh, so this is showing you that this is crafting, right? Uh, you, this is how, oops, whoops. Okay, so what I just did, I clicked on something, I don't know what happened, I'm gonna hit the backspace key, and that's gonna take me back to the window I was just on. That's important too. So I've got crafting, and this will show me all the recipes I can do, and all the different ways I can, I can do it, right? All the different machines that I can use as a crafting bench. I don't know what some of this stuff is. I didn't know you can craft inside of a draconium chest, I, you know, stuff like that. But you know, you need a crafting table. So that's cool. But what about, apparently I can do something in an anvil as well. So if I click on this tab, oh, in this pack, I can take a regular book and get another book out of it by combining it with an enchanted book. That's kind of weird. This might be a bad example. Uh, or I can click, hey, look, dungeon chests. So if there's a chance that it'll drop and you can hover over it and it'll show you, hey, there's a 4.2 chance you might get one book in a dungeon chest. And I can click here, and there's, an, there's a mineshaft chest. Okay, 6.8%. So that's pretty useful as information as well. The sawmill from Thermal Expansion. I can apparently put in an oak bookshelf, in, or any bookshelf, rather. I'm sure if you 
click underneath here, it'll show you. And I'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, you could put an oak bookshelf inside of this sawmill right here. It shows you what machine you need. And uh, it will create books sometimes. There's a 25% chance that it will output a book. So that's that's not great. But yeah, this these arrows up here in the crafting window, th these are going to be important to you as well. So not only can I just click on the tabs, but I can click on these arrows to cycle between the tabs as well. And then if there's more than one page inside the tab, like here, you can use this to go between the sub pages inside of that tab. So it sounds like a lot, but it's actually really, really easy to do. Uh, so let's, let's think of something maybe a little bit more complicated, like a machine or something. Uh, thermal expansion's got a bunch of machines. Let's take a look at the pulverizer, one of the most basic ones. So if I click on here, I can see, wow, there is a lot of, of stuff that I need. And in each one of these, you can click on to see what you need, a piston. And the other cool thing about JEI is it sorts. You'll see that the pictures are kind of blinking. They're, they're going through all of the different things that w it will take. But if you look, if you hover over on the very bottom of this tooltip, it says accepts any plank wood. So literally any type of wood planks will work here. The same thing with this bottom one, literally any type of cobblestone. And if you're not familiar with modded and you don't know what you mean, there's more than one type of cobblestone, that's fine. There's a mod called chisel where you can turn a block into multiple different types of things. They look really awesome and it's cool. You can use chiseled blocks for this. So that's really, it's, that's another useful uh, tip for you that check that tool tip to make sure that you've got the right type of items because I admit when it's flashing like this sometimes it's hard to tell like is this is it stone brick is it cobblestone it's a it's a good way to tell so you can click here and and that's just kind of how you do it the other cool thing about JEI which I don't actually have set up but this is a huge thing so let's get ourselves a crafting table if you've got a crafting table now I'm going to, I'm just going to pick something super easy uh, to show you. Let me think of, uh, we'll get some coal here. Okay. We're going to grab a stack of coal bits. Now, if I come in here and I say, you know, what do I, you know, if, oh, any, anytime you click, you have an inventory option, a JEI shows up. So whether you just hit E, whether you're looking into a crafting bench, it's great, right? So I will type in coal and I can see all the different coal options. Well, what if I wanted to make a block of coal and I wanted to do that easily? I can, there's this move items button. If you're in a crafting bench, if you're in the right type of thing, you can, and, and you're probably gonna wanna shift click here. But if I shift and click this move items button, it will put the items in the crafting bench for me. And then I can shift click them out here. That's great. If I just wanted to make one, uh, let's grab some more coal from the creative thing. Uh, I can switch JEI to be like a creative inventory and just give me stuff to cheat items in, but uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, so if I just wanted to make one, I just click it or I can shift click to get all of them, right? That's really simple and that's super handy. That's so powerful that they actually added that into vanilla with this crafting book. But when you're in modded, you're probably not gonna be messing with this recipe book that often because JEI is just so much better. One of the other ways JEI is better is, for instance, uh, if I'm looking at this, right, and we're seeing this, I'm like, well, wh what do I use that for? You know, what what is the point of that thing? Like, if you ever find an item and you don't know what it's for, you can look it up in JEI. And if you hover over the item and you push the U key, it will show you the uses for that item, right? So I just did that for coal, and now we can see there is a ton of stuff. There's five pages of tabs and each one of those tabs probably has a bunch of different stuff so you can go look at coal is coal is an easy one because it's a resource you're probably going to use in everything right uh like torches fire charges like here's all the crafting stuff i can do with coal right uh or i can use it as fuel it'll it'll tell it'll give me a little bit of information about how i can use it as fuel or i can smelt it down into graphite so like it's it's a really important uh, and powerful way to to see all of the different things in the game, and once you get a hang of using JEI, it's a really good research tool as well. So like I just said, when you encounter an item that you maybe don't know or or, or stuff like that, the other cool thing about JEI is it's not limited 
to resources. You can look up stuff by uh, mod pack. For example, there's a mod called Thermal Expansion, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard before. Um, you might not know what it is, but if you want to look up something by mod, you start with the at symbol, and then you start typing in the mod name. Now, you cannot use spaces here. Uh, so if I want to see the Thermal Expansion stuff, you ignore the space and then go EX, right, for Thermal Expansion. There's also Thermal Dynamics and Thermal Foundation. But if I want to see all the thermal stuff, I can just leave it at thermal. And that's super powerful because, you know, if you're messing around with a machine or something in a mod and, you want to, and you're not really sure the best way to use it or, or how, are there other things that go along with it, you can, you can search through the mod and kind of get an idea. And a lot of these things, like you see here in the tooltip, it says hold shift for details. If I hold shift over this, it tells me what it does. It smelts items. Now, not all of the mods do that. Um, some of the mods don't really have tool tips and stuff like that. It's kind of mod dependent, uh, but most of the mods do, and they have like specific, uh, JEI integration type bits to them. So that's, that's another really handy thing. Uh, I think the last thing that I really want to talk about with JEI is, is, uh, it's just a super simple thing. Uh, this is a, a real basic applied energistic setup. Don't worry about that. Um, we'll eventually talk about digital storage, I imagine. There's two different types of digital storage that I know of. That's applied energistics, refined storage. There might be more. If there are, I don't know them. Because as I mentioned early in this video, I'm not, I'm not a super modded pro. I'm still learning as I go. But I wanted to share the stuff that I learned with you guys. So hopefully help you all uh, figure stuff out on your own too. So inside of these digital storage systems, you've got these crafting stuff. All I wanted to point out, because we're talking about JEI, is down here, there's a search box mode. And Refined Storage has this as well. If you click it, and you keep clicking it, eventually you'll come to JEI Synchronized Auto Keep Standard. I don't I actually don't know what the difference is. Let's just go with JEI Synchronized Auto. So, wait, why did that clear out all my stuff? That's very strange. <laughs> oh, there it goes, visual glitch. So now whenever I, because this is JEI synchronized, whenever I type into this, which is actually searching through my storage system, uh, it will also search through in this. So if it comes out like, say I like, I need, I need a, a piece of coal or something. Uh, obviously I've got coal here, but if I didn't have one, I would be able to see it in here and like, all right, well, how do I make it? A coal is a bad example because you don't make it. But like, say I was looking for some cables for my storage system. Oh man, I've only got one. I need to make more. How do I do that? I can click here and I can see, okay, well, that's how I make these Fluix cables. Cool. Uh, so it's, just, it's again, it's it's really handy because JEI is integrated with so many different things. All right, guys, so I hope you found that video helpful. Uh, I know I tended to ramble a bit, still a bit early. I'm still finding my voice and my brain, but uh, I really wanted to get this video out because uh, I think it might be helpful to some people. So if you did like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you found it helpful. If you've got anything that you want to see as part of this series, I've got a few ideas, but not too many. Uh, so any ideas I can I can make videos on it if you got any questions of course make sure you share follow subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one this is AZ Badfish signing out see you later